I am uh, Ron Diebert. I'm the director of the Citizen Lab at the Monk Center for International Studies at the University of Toronto. The Citizen Lab is a interdisciplinary research and development lab. I call it a hacktivist lab. Our interest is in uh, promoting human rights online, and so we do research and development to try to document patterns of internet censorship and surveillance, but also to build tools that help people exercise their human rights online. And that's why, you know, I'm a professor at the University of Toronto. I teach to 800 students. I run a research and development lab. I'm doing my part to try to educate people and also encourage them to take back the net, to not accept things at face value. That's why I really like the notion of hacking and hacktivism. I, I tell all my students they need to become hackers. Right? I want as many hackers out there as possible because these are people who are going to not just sit back and say, okay, I must consume this CD or this DVD in the way they tell me. I want people to open it up and say, no, I can take this and put it here, even if someone tells me I can't, right? That's the type of mentalite, you know, we need to encourage as we move forward in the 21st century, experimental. These are all ways in which authorities are trying to control what people do, how they can move, what they can consume, what they should consume, what they should believe. These are all contrary to liberal democratic principles of basic human rights and privacy. Uh, it makes me mad because uh, I'm a strong supporter in, in access to information and freedom of speech. I believe it should be everyone's right to access whatever information they choose. And um, that's not the case in many parts of the world. We've documented an alarming increase in the number of states that filter access to information. Now 26 states worldwide. So it's very bad. The internet is no longer the seamless forum of global communications that we thought it once was. It's being carved up, colonized, and militarized. And so those of us who care about freedom of speech and access to information must take the net back. Ah, I see people all over the world accessing Siphon through their cell phones in places where the internet is restricted and accessing whatever information they choose, even if it's banned by their governments. It's a beautiful, wonderful planet with uh, a wonderful global communications environment, a global village, as Marshall McLuhan said. So this is a, a battle. There is a geopolitical battle over cyberspace going on. We can no longer take it for granted. If we love all of this technology, we who are into this technology need to get involved and, and make sure that we protect it, that we preserve it as a forum for free expression. That means we have to do battle.